For most manufacturing companies, meeting the ISO 9000 quality standard has been one of the most important steps ever taken to improve their manufacturing operation. But in most cases, business owners and stockholders are not satisfied merely by knowing that a company makes products with consistent quality. Business leaders know that the most important measure of any manufacturing company is continued profitability. And in most manufacturing operations, it is hard to have every single employee understand the company's financial performance or have the ability to improve it. To help everyone to understand profitability, Ellie Goldratt wrote a novel about a manufacturing operation that needed major improvements to avoid being shut down. This book, written in 1984, The Goal, sold millions of copies and popularized the theory of constraints. The novel was a simple way to introduce the theory of constraints to employees at all levels. But what is meant by a constraint? To find out, we asked Dr. David Berglund, a certified TOC trainer, to define what a constraint is. The basic assumption of theory of constraints is that every organization exists to accomplish a goal. And typically the goal is to make more money now and in the future. And at any point in time there's something that's limiting your ability to achieve more and more of your goal. And that something is what we call a constraint. And to manage the company well, to achieve its goal well, we have to manage the constraint. One key factor emphasized by the theory of constraints is how difficult it is to measure the impact that various divisions of a company have on its profitability. To help companies break out of the standard cost accounting methods, the theory of constraints measures financial performance using the throughput accounting concept. 